Inkscape APS file, so this will be a follow-up video. So within my previous video, we discussed GoScript. And this has enabled us to load directly the APS file. Now, I've seen over here that within a newer version of Inkscape, they added support directly for this. So I installed a new version. The new version will be 1.4. And over here I have prepared the following file. So we see that this will be the APS file. If I'm going to drag and drop that, that will fail to load. So I think that it's still mandatory to have that Go script installed in order to load APS file directly. But I also want to mention the following. We can also open directly Illustrator files. So we have over here an older Illustrator file. I can drag and drop that. We're going to say that this will go to the PDF import. So in this case, if I will click OK, the file will open like this. So we have some vectors over here, as we can see the letters or these shapes, but overall the background will be converted. So this was a gradient background and now it will be divided like this. But if I will open the same file with Illustrator, you're going to see that the background has this radial um, background. And uh, I can also go and save this as an SVG file. And I already did that over here. And this will be the following file. And if I will drag and drop this within Inkscape, we're going to see how this will go to the SVG input. And if I will include the SVG image as a table object, if I will click OK, we're going to see that the file will now load like this. So we're going to maintain all of those details that we had in Illustrator. And if I will have this ungrouped, I can remove the radial background. And I can further go and have this ungrouped. So we have the text, in this case the vitamin. I can further ungroup that, and we're going to have the individual letter. So this is the video regarding APS files within uh, Inkscape. For me, as we can see within this version, since I don't have Go script uh, installed over here, I cannot load that APS file directly. But for SVG file, we're going to see that that conversion will uh, go really smooth. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of content. I will position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.